Okay, so bisection. So this is not going to be like a, a separate episode, so to say. And... Yeah, like I'll process it to a separate video. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if y'all want to be in the video, stay on. If not, hide yourself. Okay. So git bisect. What does git bisect do? Who's used it? Yeah, before? that would be my question to you. <laughs> Okay. Have I, Jarno, have you ever used git bisect for real? A couple of, well, for real, like actually solving a problem, I was a, or some, I one had with the software, maybe once. Yeah. I think, I can't, I might have done it once or twice, but no. I oh, really I think we remember. have both done it at least once for the same problem. Oh. Which I problem? I remember. Well, I don't remember what the code was exactly, but I think but it was in one of our garage sessions yeah. for some researcher who had a... Oh, a maybe, one. yeah. Okay, anyway. So what does git bisect... Whoa, okay. Now we get real cat. So, um... So what is the yeah, idea what is... of git bisect? What is bisection in computer science? Yeah. So bisect is an algorithm. You have a bunch of different, uh, a list of things. You check the first one and you see it's wrong. You check the last one and you see it's right. You check the middle one and you see it's right. So you know it's in the second half. You check something in the middle of the second half and divide it up even more and so on and so on until you get only one element. And it's much more efficient than going through and checking every element to see if it's right or wrong. So for Git, basically the idea is that there is some change you've done, which is like your code is broken and you know it worked 50 commits ago. So instead of testing all of them, what you do is you go and tell git, okay, run this script on the first change and the last change and a middle change, and then figure out where the where it first broke. Did that so it's a sense? troubleshooting tool. Yeah, okay, yes. That's the best yeah. way to say it. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, maybe this already explains better. But okay, so here's what we would do. Mm. So we... Uh, are, you, are you sharing for us or are you sharing to the video? Oh, I'm sharing to the video. I think you would need to see okay. in the Twitch stream because I can't share. I yeah, can't it's no problem. I, uh... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And basically we tell git bisect start and then it sort of remembers in the background, okay, I'm bisecting something. And then you run git bisect good with some commit hash, and it says this worked, and then do git bisect bad, and it says, okay, this doesn't work. And then git knows enough to start checking out something in the middle and say, does this work or not? And it just narrows it down. And each time you would have it you would tell it is it good or bad until it will tell you this is the one that broke it so let's do the example i think that will make it more clear go, go to your window okay uh scroll down optional exercise get bisect so i will change back to my git place here uh I'm going to remove the old git bisect exercise. And okay, so motivation. We're practicing. We're trying to find an offending commit. There's a script called git pi, which will estimate pi. And when we run it now, we see it returns 3.57, which is definitely not pi. At some point in 500 commits, there was an error. And this is an artificial example. So it was made just to calculate pi and to break. 
So we need to clone the repository and we're going to try running it. So where is the repository? Here. Uh, git clone this. And I will change to that directory. Okay. Mm. So let's check it out first. Git log. So as we see, there's a ton of commits in here and we have no idea which one broke it. Okay, so let's get the first commit. So if I run this, um, this will be the very first commit in the repository. We see it's commit number one. If I was doing this myself, I'd probably run git log and scroll all the way down to the bottom in less and do that. Okay, now my cat's knocking stuff off of some shelves. Let's hope it doesn't get too bad. Okay, so, um, hmm. what do we do? Ah, there's no solution here. So I actually have to figure this out myself. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll up to the cheat sheet and let's do this. And if anyone has stuff I should do, please tell me. So I guess first I we do- there's a solution. Oh. Uh, oh. Is there linked. a solution? There. Ah, there, okay. Well, I'll try to do it myself without the solution anyway. Yeah. So git, git bisect start. It says status waiting for both good and bad commits. So I do git bisect good and... So a good commit would be one where it works, it returns the correct value for pi. Yeah. And a bad commit is one where it doesn't work. Yes. That's the metaphor. Code used to work and now it's broken. So I tell it that right. and... So we have to, yeah, we have to like uh, ourselves know that this commit mm -hmm. in this commit the code works yeah so how can yeah. we find out if it works or not yeah. so actually we um, can... should we oh. test it i mean we already marked the current commit as uh, the yeah. first commit as good right yeah i was going a bit fast here so i guess we would know okay pi is wrong and then we would start doing the bisection but the exercise told us that it's wrong, so I skipped yeah. that. Well, I mean, yeah, we know it's wrong in the last commit. Um, we could have checked if it's right in the first commit. Yeah. Um, but we could also know that. I mean, you assuming you wrote the code, you know that like, yeah, like, yesterday at this time it worked. Mm -hmm. So this, that was the commit where yeah. it worked. Yeah. yeah. And git bisect would tell you if it was completely broken at the start anyway, I think. Okay. So this is where was i i had told it the good commit now i'm going to tell it the bad yeah. commit uh so main being the current main branch pointer is wrong so i tell it that oh what uh it's called master not main okay So we haven't renamed the main branch on this yet. Okay, so I'm git bad master. Oh no, git bisect. So now you see what it's like to really use git. So you do type stuff wrong sometimes. You figure it out. Okay, git bad master. So 250 revisions left to test after this, roughly eight steps, which is basically log base 2 of 250. So is this commit good or bad? How do we know? We run Python 3 git pi. So now when we run um, bisect bad master and now it's, it's saying 250. So so I guess we have we are now in the middle commit, right? Right, yeah, we're exactly in the middle. So, so each side has 250. So it, it actually it actually changed the files in, in your folder. Yes, it checked it out. Uh, 
Should I do a git graph? I guess it doesn't hurt. If I search in here for head, unless I push slash and type something and it searches. So this is origin head. My head is currently here on commit 251. Okay. And I know this is bad because I just ran yeah. Python 3 git py. So what git bisect is doing is it it's basically putting you in a state in the past and asking is this now working or not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then when you mark this as good or bad, it will go to another place and ask again. Yeah. So you don't you don't have to yourself uh, check mm -hmm. out uh, that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. search and commit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is someone watching the notes if they have questions? No. Okay. So I tell it this is bad, and now it goes to 124. Or no, it goes to commit 126, which is roughly halfway here. So let's try it. Or should we check the graph again? If well, I'm following. I, I, I know where we are. Um, but maybe we can check still if you want. Yeah, so here we are. We're down there. Let's do... For fun, let's do git status. You're currently bisecting, starting from branch master. Git bisect, resect, and go back. Okay, yeah, that's normal. So this is good or bad? Let's see. It's good. So I would tell it git bisect good, I guess. And now we're on commit 188, which is again halfway through. Let's try it. So now instead of typing this over and over again, I push the up arrow key twice to get to what I just ran. And I'll just start going fast. Okay, so this is bad. I push up arrow until I get get bisect bad. Uh, pi, okay, this is also bad. Get pi, this is also bad. Get pi, okay, this is good. Get pi, this is bad. This is good. And now it says zero revisions left to test after this. So I guess this is the last step. So let's try it. And this is good. So I do get by set good. I wonder what it will say now. Uh -huh. this, this is the first bad commit and then shows what it was. Should we see okay. what it does? Should I get show it? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Get show. Mm, okay. So well, I don't see exactly what happened. So I know in this repository it was made where Basically, every line changed something in order to obfuscate stuff. And I guess maybe this is the problem? There is. Well, I mean, that's a real change. The other ones uh, yeah. seem like white space changes. Actually, you know, there's something we can do. So here, I will do git show word diff. Uh, yeah. And it shows only what's changed. But actually, this is. Eh. So it's showing us word by word. So this is the same line as before. And this is the word that changed on the line. So this one's not as good because it thinks this is the line, even though it moved to a different line. And but we see some things have. Well, that basically looks the same, huh? But this is actually a difference. So I guess, yeah, this is the commit that broke it. Should we compare by looking at the previous commit? Let's yeah, that, that probably is more clear. So here, the caret sign means the previous commit to whatever we are doing. 
and here we see this is what it normally looks like. So it adds a comment to some line and removes the comment from some other line so that git annotate doesn't work. So git blame is another name for git annotate. Okay, so it worked. But there's something else we can do in this exercise. Um, write a script that checks for this. So you notice I was basically running the same thing over and over again. And that could probably be automated. Do you want to see us automate it? Sure. Well, the answer is this is a recording, so yes. OK, so let's go back to the beginning. Git check or switch uh, master. We're back at the beginning. Um, we will, uh, we should get bisect reset. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what's the script we should make? Now, now that you um, uh, finished bisecting, did you actually repair something? Uh, uh, did, do you just now know which comment is the problem? I just know what the problem is, and I would have to decide what to do about it later. I guess in this case, okay. it's so long ago, I would just make a new commit now that fixes it. And well, history was broken. Tough. That's how it works. We can deal. Right. OK. Should I write? So we definitely one? know what the issue is, so it, it's easier to correct now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should I write the checking script in Bash or in Python? Maybe I'll use Bash because Up to you. that's more like what it is. Actually, no, I exit first. So first, I want to do it on the command line. So how would I use Bash to check what the output is? So what I'm about to do. Y'all don't know bash scripting isn't part of this course, so I will just show how I would personally do it. So I know that this syntax will run this command and make the output be this. So if I echo it, well, yeah. And then I can use test that equals uh, And that's one, which shows that this was. So in the bash shell, uh, whenever you run a program, it has some exit output. So a program can either succeed or fail. So in my terminal here, you don't see what it is, but it's there behind the scenes. And this variable is what it was. And it's funny because in shell, um, zero is success and anything else is failure. And that's basically because there's only one way to succeed, but there's many different error codes that might be needed. So they reverse the typical Boolean logic. Let's check out the first commit. Who remembers what the commit hash was? Uh, let's here. Uh, who remembers how you get switched to a detached state? Is it dash D? Apparently so. That was a completely random guess, so it could have gone very wrong. Okay, let's try the same script I just did. And we see it returns zero now. So this was successful. So now I put this into a script. So nano we'll copy it. And uh, I will say it's a bash script. I will exit and save. So if I do bash, so that was successful. Uh, 
no, 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 I run it again, and it shows failure. So now I've written a little script that lets me automate this whole thing. So let's go back and do it again. Find our little cheat sheet here. Get bisect start, get bisect, ah, uh, good. Okay, it's the same one. Get bisect bad master. And then I'll tell it when I'm, this is what I'm doing here. I run scripts. So it will run this command used to output to decide if it's good or bad and continue until it's done. And it's probably going to be really fast, don't you think? Should I do it? Do you think yeah. it will work? I think there's a good chance, but who knows? I'm not sure if it takes a script name or a command or mm. either, but in this case, it's a command. That. Okay. It did not work. It takes the script name. Oh. Uh... I think. Oh. Uh... Hey, what about this? Or. No, that doesn't work. Uh, just... What about this without okay, quotes? Aha, yeah. uh -huh, there we go. Okay. So there I was putting it in quotes, so it thought that there was one command name bash check, but really I had to give it as two separate things. Okay, Bisec okay. found the first bad commit, and it's the same one we found before. And this script ran over and over again. And you saw that we don't know how to do it right offhand, but we play around some and eventually figure it out. Okay, so comments or should we yeah well oh. this is like uh to me this feels like this uh, uh method that you numerical method that you use oh. to find this uh point where the uh, line crosses uh, zero point mm -hmm. so that you just check if it's a yeah. positive I mean, or it negative is the same and, method the same algorithm. Yeah. Just checking if it's yeah. zero or one and yeah, finding yeah. where it changes. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we call it a day then? I guess if no other comments, well, <laughs> hopefully this was helpful and maybe we could do more of these little quick videos on single topics. Anyway, yeah, talk that would to be you nice. later then. Bye. Yeah. Bye.